Hi folks, it's Evo here from Thunder Sluter Company. It is great to see you and welcome to today's episode of Thundermas Fishing Tips. So, we got the sun is on its way down and we've got some cold water conditions today, folks. So, the strategy is going to be slow presentation. When you're fishing the colder water, the fish are still hungry, they want to bite, but they're just not as aggressive as they are in the summer. So today, folks, it's going to be all about slowing down the presentation and just trying to entice a bite. So very, very finesse approach today. And uh, what I decided to run with today, I've got the flexi jig with me. Uh, and I went with a three quarter ounce blackhead flexi jig uh, today. And as you know, the jig flexes down on the hook set, changes the angle of the hook set. And on the flexi jig, I'm running the new schoolie plastic swim bait. So, oh, almost thought I had a bump there, folks. Uh, it's a paddle tail bait, but what I like about it too is it's kind of it's kind of got a little um, joint. It's kind of almost double jointed. It, it gives a good good action on the tail, and of course it's scented. So that's the combination flexi jig with the schoolie paddle tail bait. That little paddle tail is gonna wave around in there, and with the paddle tails. They're swim baits, you can swim them or jig them. I'm jigging them today. So as you can probably see, that sun is right in the camera. The sun is on its way down and I'm just going to see if I can entice the bite with a very, very slow presentation. I've got Thunder Braid that I'm running, 15 pound braided line, so I got good sensitivity. I've got a nice 12 foot liter of fluorocarbon line. And the fishing rod I'm running, folks, is a one-piece, six-foot medium power. So, I've got all the gear. The time of the day, I think, is good. I'm going to slow things down, see if I can get into a fish or two. Really hoping to get myself a walleye, so stay tuned, folks. Nice little slow lift and a bump. Love it. Just... Nailed it. That nice slow little retrieve triggered myself a nice hit, folks. Now, the question is, what do we got? You know what I'm hoping for, a nice walleye. He's fighting like a walleye. Let's see if I can get him on this side of the boat. Away from the current. I'd like to at least get a look at him. Where's my net? I guess I'm not prepared, folks. I am not prepared. Keep some pressure on that fish. Lighten up on the drag just a bit. I'm on to my floral now. Oh yeah, folks, we got a nice walleye. Exactly what I was hoping for. Oh yeah. <laughs> yes! Oh, he's not in the bag yet. There we go. We have flexed him into the boat, folks. We flexed him in the boat. <laughs> hey, is that a nice flexi jig with a schoolie bait? Beautiful walleye right there. That is a dandy. And you know what? We need a photo of this fish. Let's grab a quick photo of them right now for Facebook and Instagram. What a nice photo op. That's a perfect, perfect eating size fish right there, folks. Perfect, perfect eating size fish. Just a beauty. In the live well he goes. I know I got a rag here somewhere. Oh, right here. Okay. Oh my goodness, folks. That was just fantastic. I'm a little bit wrapped up here and a little bit excited. Oh, I gotta get unwrapped because I wanna get right back out there again. Let's see, one more wrap, there we go. Okay, and my jig, my bait is no worse for wear. So, we get ourselves a nice little cast out there again. Oh my folks, I got a fighter here. That slow little presentation he just nailed it. And he feel, feels like a bigger fish. 
Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm, I'm loving this. Cold water, slow presentation is working today, folks. And that flexi jig, I know I got myself a solid hook set. And that paddle tail, that schooly paddle tail, that little extra joint on there may be just enticing the bite as well. Plus they're scented, which helps too. I like using scented baits, especially in colder water, because the fish a lot of time will come up to your bait and they might nudge it or take a peek at it. And if there's a little bit of scent, they typically grab it. But you know what? This fish is fighting. It's, it's strong, folks. It's, it's, it's fighting down there. It feels like it feels heavier than that, that other one. Okay, I'm on to my floral. Oh, no, he's pulling, he's pulling back now. I'm back down to my braid again. And that's the thing with the braided line, you get that nice, nice sensitivity and that beautiful hook set. Oh, he is staying down there, folks. I hope I don't lose him. This must, they might, this might be a big fish, folks. Oh my goodness. It is a beautiful, beautiful walleye, folks. Oh, yes. And look at the coloration on this fish. Oh, look at that. My, uh, thank you very much. Hey, he just did me a nice little favor. <laughs> okay. Look at that chunk, folks. <sighs> a little bit bigger than the other one. Still a really nice eater. That guy's going to go right in the box. That's a beauty. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Okay. Oh. The live well is shaping up already, folks. I got to tell you. I am loving this. And again, it's all about the slow presentation. Slow things down, cold water, entice the bite. What a day I'm having today. It's, I'm just getting off to a good start. As you can see, the stun has not gone down yet. It's still on its way down, and that means I got a lot of good fishing ahead of me. But you know what? Wherever you're tuning in from, folks, I want to, as always, thank you for spending time with me on the boat today. And until next time, good luck and good fishing. Let's see if I can look into another fish. <laughs>